Welcome to Arizona Midday. I'm your host, Destry Jatan. A lot coming up on our show today. We are cooking in the kitchen with some firefighters. They are in the heat of battle, getting ready to cook right now. Paris is still in jail, but for how long? Someone from Kiss FM's John Jane Rich has the good, the bad, and the gossip. Find out who it is in just a little bit. Plus, the best ways to keep off the weight this summer, good housekeeping tested the strategies that really work. Plus, are the kids bored this summer? They can have fun and learn at the same time. Two teachers are here to show you how. All this and more coming up on Arizona Midday. But first, it's the eighth tier of competition in the Police and Firefighters Cook-Off Challenge. One year of competition that will determine who has the best cook in the state, the police or the firefighters. Who? Who? Firefighters? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. They're both firefighters. All right, today's culinary shootout, we have two different fire departments going head to head. On one side of the midday kitchen is firefighter Jim Domino with the Buckeye Valley Fire Department. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, already working hard. Jim is originally from Buffalo, New York. He's been with the department for one year. His hobbies include weightlifting and playing hockey. And Jim, you're cooking stuffed chicken today, Correct. right? Yes. Okay, now why do you think you're going to win with this recipe? I think mine's a little bit uh, of a unique dish, uh, a little bit uh, more involved, a little bit work, more work, and uh, other than it uh, looks like Judd's got something a little basic going on over there, I don't know. <laughs> oh, a little basic. What is kind of your secret ingredient to stuffed chicken? Um, there's just a lot of different ingredients, some peppers, onions, some secret spices that I've prepared, and uh, really think it's going to be a pretty tasteful dish. So. All right. And you're going to get it all done in the hour, right? Correct. All right. Well, he's going to work hard. We want to now introduce you to the other side of the kitchen. That's the competition, Judd Douglas, a firefighter with the Daisy Mountain Fire Department. Good morning. Good morning to you. Where's Daisy Mountain? Uh, we're up off of I-17 in the uh, Carefree area, Anthem, New River, Desert Hills. All right. So <clears throat> came on down to do this for us today. He's originally from Nebraska, Judd is, and has been with the department for a year and a half. His hobbies include golf, boating, playing football with the Phoenix Thunder, and having a good time with friends. Now, Judd, today you're cooking also chicken, but this is chicken parmesan. You bet. This is uh, one of the uh, one of the popular dishes uh, up where, uh, where I'm working, so uh, we're going to put it to the test today and uh, see if we can knock that one off the charts. Do you guys cook a lot, obviously, at the fire department? Every <laughs> shift. Every shift. Uh, usually, uh, usually every evening, um, every, uh, every crew is putting together uh, their own meal, and uh, definitely... Uh, did you have to learn when you started? Uh, no, not necessarily. I was kind of a cook before I started, oh, okay. but I do have to say that uh, getting on the job has definitely uh, helped out in that aspect. So. Okay, great. Now, why do you think you are going to win? Uh, just because it's, uh, I don't know, it's one of my favorites, so uh, I'm going to go with it and uh, hope that's what the judges decide. All right, well, speaking of the judges, you guys already said a few words, so now we're going to introduce you to our judges, all right? That's right. Are you guys ready to meet them? Ready. Here they come. All right, this is Lauren, Scott, and Stephanie, all fitness models and personal trainers, so they better be healthy recipes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys going to be tough? Oh, oh of course. Yeah. We're ready. <laughs> all right, you're ready. Come on over. Why don't you sit down and we'll have you go ahead and check out these recipes. Does this intimidate you with fitness models and personal <sighs> trainers here? Uh, Just? Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Yeah, a little bit, but uh, I think my meal is pretty healthy, so... <laughs> I don't think I should have a problem. All right. Now, now remember, judges, okay, the entries will be judged on a few different things. First of all, there's flavor. Then there's texture, presentation, and culinary flair. And make sure that they kiss up to you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because that is part of the competition. And throughout the show, we're going to check in with our cooks and judges, of course. And at the end of the show, we're going to see which contestant will be ejected and who will go on to the next level of competition. So before we start, what do you want to say to the judges about your dish, now that you know who they are? Um, well, I may not have the, uh, the healthiest dish, but uh, <laughs> I hope your taste buds are out there because uh, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, that's the thing, you know. Everybody has to take a break from the diet once in a while, you know, Judd. Exactly. So you're not out of it, right? He's not out of it. <laughs> not yet. Okay, okay. Now what about you, Jim? Anything to say to the judges? I think this is a pretty healthy meal. Um, pretty tasteful. It's got a lot of flavor to it and uh, I think it's a, a good recipe. We, we enjoyed it at the station a lot and uh, it's quick, easy and you know. How long have you been cooking? Uh, I like to cook, uh, I don't know, a couple uh, years. Okay. And I like to cook at home. I cook pretty much all the time. I usually always volunteer to cook at the station. So, oh, that's and nice. I think they enjoy that. So yeah, I, I really do enjoy it. It's not something that I don't like to do. So. All right. And they are going to show you what they're doing throughout the whole time. Remember, tune in to the end of the show and we'll have more on that. Now it's time 
for today's Arizona Midday Trivia Question. According to researchers, what percentage of American women are on a diet on any given day? Our fitness model and personal trainers have done this, right? What do you think it is? Um, do you think it's like 15%, 25%, 75%? The answer, after the break. Plus, we're going to have the top three strategies for keeping that weight off. Don't go away. But it's getting hot in the kitchen where two firefighters are battling it out with two recipes you can make at home. Everyone, we're back in the midday kitchen in the heat of battle in the eighth tier of elimination in the police and firefighters cook-off. One full year of fierce and fun cooking competition that will determine once and for all who has the best cook in the state, the police or the firefighters. Come on, you guys. Yeah. Help me out here. Our judges today are fitness models and personal trainers, Scott, Lauren, and Stephanie. How is everything going so far? It's going good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. very good. Are they, are they talking to you about what they're making? You know, it's... I'm not getting the, the flair. There, there's not much interaction oh, here. Yeah. Oh, I need some. Uh, yeah. Do you need more love? Do you need more love? I need some second. You guys, I think they need more love. Much more love. It shouldn't well, be that hard, worry. right? My it's coming. Model it's coming. Trainers. You gotta smooth us. All right, it is coming now. Now, what are you looking for in one of these dishes? I want a lot of flavor. I'm looking for flavor. Okay. And that's smelling really good right yeah. now. <laughs> okay. He hasn't started yet, to be fair. Jed hasn't even started. What are you looking for? Presentation, some flair, need some tricks. <laughs> need some tricks? All right. What about you? Definitely flair, but there's got to be an excellent flavor. You know, my taste buds just have to, mmm. Mm. They have to pop. Okay. Now, Jed, how's your dish going? You're it's making chicken good. parmesan. You bet. Yep. Okay, uh, what is your next step? Getting ready to uh, bread the chicken and uh, fry it up, put it in the pan, throw the sauce to it, and get it in the oven. A lot of people love chicken parmesan. What's your secret to making a good dish? Um, right here, uh, a lot of seasoning uh, in the pasta, and uh, that's about I it. I like a lot of seasoning. What kind of seasoning is your kind of favorite? Uh, what makes it pop? Little, uh, little Italian. Um, there's a few others in here, uh, some parmesan, um, some other stuff, so... Okay, well, you're going to get started on that. And, Jim, um, what are you doing right now? You've got some bell peppers this in there. Is, uh, this is basically the mixture that's going to be inside the chicken. It's going to be Ooh, bell peppers, yeah. mushrooms, a little bit of onion. And then once this gets done here, uh, chop up some of the bacon. And then we're going to add the cheeses here, which is going to be some Colby and Monterey Jack. It's Parmesan cheese. And then a little bit of seasoning in there. I'm a little worried about the bacon and the cheese because you did tout this as a very healthy right. meal. Is that it's, still healthy? Yeah, what? it's not too bad. I mean, the, the bacon <laughs> might be a little fattening, a little greasy, but it adds a little flavor. And I just got a little bit here, just a little touch. Just enough know. to give it a little yeah. loop, right? All right. Any constructive criticism, Judd, for Jim? No, it looks like uh, everything's going pretty good over there. Oh, too nice, too nice. Yeah. Any constructive <laughs> criticism, and by that I mean well, trash talk for yeah, Jack. It, it looks like he's uh, having a hard time getting going, but I think he might, <laughs> might turn out in the end. You know, yeah, might, just to let you know, Judd, you have about 35 minutes. Okay? I wouldn't get under pressure, so uh, okay. I got that going for him. Okay. Everything has to be done. I want to speak too soon. He might, he might pull through. And... All right, all right. Well, hey, you guys, we're going to check back in with you a little bit. And they are going to schmooze, okay? Right, guys? They better, absolutely. You're going to give them more loving, right? For sure. Okay. And one team is going to go on to the next tier of competition, and one team is out for good. We don't say loser, we just say out of the competition. Okay, and coming up a little bit later, we will determine who will be the winner and who will be the loser. So stay tuned. That's going to take place at the end of the show. And and next on Arizona Midday, the final results are in. Find out the winner of our police cook-off challenge right after the break. All right, it's time to eliminate one contestant in the eighth tier of competition in the police and firefighters cook-off. The remaining team will go on for a chance to be named the police and fire department's best cook. Now it's time to serve the judges. Now, they are already eating Jim's dish, and Jim, you made stuffed chicken, and we showed a lot of your ingredients about peppers, you sauteed them, and then basically you just, what, you cut a chicken breast in half right here. Sliced the chicken breast, yes, and then took the mixture with the peppers, onions, cheeses, and just stuffed the chicken, and then seasoned the outside with just a little bit of seasoning and salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it. And then you yep. threw it in the oven. You threw baked it in the it oven, for... baked it for 45 minutes, 375 degrees, and, and voila! That's the finished result. We are done, judges. Very good. What do you think, Stephanie? Why don't we start with you? Very good, full of flavor. 
A lot of cheese, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're worried about the cheese. All right, Lauren, what do you think? Definitely has the flavor I was looking for. And I think it's a really unique dish. I like it a lot. So okay. Good. And Scott? Love the flair. The little plate, food coming out. <laughs> it's a little dry for me. I'm, I was expecting a little more moist and more flavor. Okay. All right. There you go, Jim. That was your chance. Okay. Now, they're still finishing up there. And, Jed, you made actual chicken parmesan. And this looks delicious, too. Tell me about it. You bet. Um, just uh, one of my favorite dishes. Um, bread, the, uh, bread the chicken. Um, throw a lot of spices in with the uh, pasta. Melt a little cheese over the top and uh, boil you up some angel hair. And it's about all it takes. All right. And then you throw it all in the oven. How long do you bake it? Uh, bakes approximately 40 minutes on uh, 375. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and serve? Okay. The judges, their dish, and they can start tasting that. And while they're tasting it, what do you think? I mean, you heard from the judges. What do you think your chances are, Jim? You just made the stuffed chicken. I think I got pretty good feedback. Um, I was a little concerned about it being dry, so that's not too big of a surprise. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I got a pretty good shot, so we'll see what happens here. We'll see how they look. All right. Now, one. what about your competition? You kind of were making fun of him the whole time. Yeah. I, I don't what do you think, though, of his final product now that you're watching the judges him, taste it? I giving him a it. hard time, but uh, I didn't want to jump to conclusion. I said give him a fair shot. We'll see what happens here. We'll All right. Now, like are it. the guys in your department, where, what department are you from? It's Buckeye Valley. Buckeye Valley. Yeah. Now, are they watching? Are they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. They, uh, they made so sure you that... want this bragging right? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Now, Judd, you're watching the um, judges taste this dish. What are you thinking? so far what are you seeing on their faces huh? i'm just hoping that they don't fill up on mine and leave his uh, sitting oh. there but <laughs> <laughs> no uh hopefully we're getting some good feedback there uh as they're still uh sampling they're so. still sampling and i want to be fair i want to give them a chance to taste that because they had some time for yours too what's the secret ingredient when cooking chicken parmesan because a lot of people love that dish yeah, um, just, you know, you can add whatever uh, tomato uh, paste that you want or seasoning to it that you want. If you've got a homemade recipe, go ahead and throw that right in there. Um, if you're not used to making up your homemade stuff, there's obviously store-bought products, but uh, we prefer a little homemade stuff. Yeah, and, it, uh, it looks really good. Are the guys from Daisy Mountain Fire Department watching you? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Cheering you on? There's a couple of them that know uh, about it. So. All right. Now let's talk to the judges and find out what they think so far of the dish. Scott, what do you think of this dish so far? Besides the health aspect, you know, <laughs> with the fried food, I have to say, you know, it has excellent flavor. The tomato flavors, you know, popping in my mouth. It's very good. Very, very good. Okay. Now what do you think, Lauren? Now, chicken parmesan is one of my favorite cheap foods, so you have a plus there. But um, I don't know. The chicken's a little dry for me. I'm kind of feeling the same way that the Scott felt about the other dish. It's just a little dry. Okay, interesting. You're going to have to trade words there on that. And what do you think? I don't know. I think you should Stephanie. stick to firefighting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh. No, it's very good. It's very good. It's just a little unhealthy for me, but it's good. Okay, now, oh, to be fair, to it's be not fair. a healthy competition. It is good, though, a lot of flavor. The tomatoes, not too overbearing. <laughs> okay, yeah, because we, we're not judging on, on low fatness, right, guys? No. Okay, <laughs> so now we have to come up with the final decision, so you're going to have to give me your yes or no. Scott, who do you think should win, the chicken parmesan or the stuffed chicken? It's a tough call, but... I have to go with the chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan. Judd, you got one vote. All right, Lauren. Well, um, both dishes were very good, but I really like the uniqueness of the first dish. All right, the stuffed chicken. It's 1-1. One, one. Uh -oh, it Lauren, it comes down to you. <laughs> Who wins this challenge, the eighth tier of the Police and Firefighters Again. cook -off? They were both very good. You guys worked hard, but I'm going to have to go with the stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken! <laughs> All right, Jim, congratulations. Job, All right, congratulations. It was very close. I think you both did a wonderful job. No one's the loser, but everyone can go to um, ArizonaMidday.azcentral.com and get the recipe. And then in two weeks, two more teams from an Arizona police department will square off. Again, don't forget, both recipes are on our website. Monday on Arizona Midday, craving some sweets. We'll have an award-winning cookie recipe that is healthy, Stephanie. Find out how to make it. Get ready for a transformation. We'll have it in our Monday makeover. Plus, we'll talk to a young author about a book that is helping young kids stop spreading rumors. That's all coming up Monday. Bye-bye, everyone. Additional consideration for portions of today's Arizona Midday is provided by the following sponsors.